How's it going everyone? Today we are not going to be doing a video on the short bus conversion. Rather, we're actually going to be looking at Dale's box truck. A lot of you know Dale from the build series and today he's going to be giving us a tour. So let's go check that out. Hi, my name's Dale, and this is my 2006 Chevrolet 3500 box truck that I call the Slacker Box Palace. If you'd like to come inside, I'll show you around. Yeah, as you come in, you'll notice the first thing you see is the shower stall, which is just a kit shower that I purchased at Lowe's. I also have a toilet chair here that I use in emergencies. Next to it is two file cabinets that are stacked on top of each other. And then this wall, I kind of, is just an accent wall. I've got some art from different people that I've met along the way, some photographs that I've taken. And then in here is the cab of the truck. When I bought this truck, this was not here. This was a solid wall. I just cut it out and made an entrance into the cab, which makes it easy to get in and out of. On this wall, is just a storage rack for my vacuum and broom and some miscellaneous items. On the left side of the truck as you come in, this is my refrigerator. This is just like a three quarter size uh, standard home refrigerator. In my original build out, I did have a chest freezer that I used for extra counter space, but I found that it was just a real pain trying to get stuff in and out of, so I switched to a conventional refrigerator, which gives me the opportunity to have ice and frozen things as well as plenty of storage. It's just me, so usually it's only full of, you know, the necessities, some Bud Light and that type of thing. As you come on down, next to it is my sink area and my countertop. It's just a standard house sink that I found at a Habitat for Humanities Restore. In my original build, I did have a double sink that came out of an old camper, but I found that for me, it just wasn't deep enough. It, it was only about three to four inches deep and you just were getting water everywhere. So I switched it out to this. The one thing that I, I show a lot of people is with your water system, a lot of people are concerned about saving water. What I did is I went to a hardware store and they sell an adapter for your kitchen sink, which allows you to put a garden hose on here. So what I did is put that on and then I just capped this off. And then as you turn the water on, of course you have to have it tight, but as you, you turn the water on and then you can just use your sprayer and you're not wasting you know, water down the sink. On the wall is a cabinet that I found at a Habitat for Humanities Restore. Basically, I just really liked it. It was kind of cool looking and it was $3, so I bought it, not thinking of my truck at the time, but when I did the build out or my second build out, I, I put it in here and it just, it's got storage, miscellaneous stuff in here. And then on the wall next to it, this is actually, a it's a homemade, Berkey water filter. I simply went on Amazon, bought the filters that go in a Berkey uh, system, and then went to Walmart and bought two $20 stock pots, drilled a few holes, put a, some screws together, and put a spigot in it. And this, these filters, I think, are rated, as, if I recall correctly, to do 12,000 gallons of water, which will be you know sometime in my grandkids lifetime before they need to actually be changed so this is a good thing most of the time when I travel I start out with my own water from my own house and then I've been fortunate enough to get good water almost every place I've been but it's a just it's an extra security thing in case you're ever out and need water because this thing will you can get pond water and and uh, filter it and be safe to drink If you 
come on down here this is my stove this is actually a camp chef outdoor stove there again originally i had a smaller stove which i just hated you couldn't put anything on it so i bought this it is an outdoor stove but it doesn't know that it's outdoors so it's not really bothered it also acts in the winter time as my heat source i do carry a mr buddy heater but with those small bottles they just it'll run for four hours and you know you're done with this i've never run it all night long but i could if i just put it on low normally what i'll do because i like it cold is in the morning i'm making coffee or something i boil the water you turn the stove on for five minutes and the place is heated up so you're good to go on the walls here i purposely didn't put cabinets in here because i didn't want to close the space in and that's one of the comments i get how roomy this is and what i did was i just took some one by fours, cut them to, to whatever length I wanted and nailed them together. And then every, it's got a lip on it so nothing will fall out, nothing jumps out, everything rides in there fine. These are actually silverware holders from a restaurant. There again, I'm a big fan of Habitat for Humanities restores. I was in the restore one day, they had a whole bunch of these. They were like 10 cents a piece. So I pretty much bought all the ones they had and just screw them to the wall Put whatever you want to in them on the back wall my truck was it had originally had roll-up doors in it which i wound up taking out and then i built this wall put the windows and the door in and then above th this is just an open area that was i didn't know what to do so i bought some frosted glass you know like you would have in your kitchen or in your home cut it and then just put some leds up in the uh, top of it to light it in this window, of course, I do, being from Florida, I put a just a small window unit, which I can run. I, I can run it as long as I have, you know, shore power or my generator. I cannot run it off my solar. On this wall, what I did is it's just more of my storage that I showed you over here. It's just built out. As I said, you can cut these any length you want. So I just had these and that's what I cut them at. I also carry my computer and a DVD player on this shelf, which runs through into this TV. This is the wall for the shower. This is where all the plumbing for the shower is in this wall. And this is my bed. Underneath the bed is my storage and my solar, my batteries, my inverter, fuse box, and all that's under here. I also carry an extra 20 gallon propane tank under here. And on my system, there's a 16 gallon water tank under the bed that goes to the shower. It's not heated, it's just cold water because it, everybody knows that when you're on the road and you want to take a shower, but you can't spend 30 minutes taking a shower. So I left it cold, so that means I get in, get wet, soap up, rinse off and get out. Under this sink, I carry, I don't have a big uh, gray tank. I just use a seven gallon uh, igloo tank as my uh, gray water. Also under there is a Insta Hot Hot Water Heater and a 20 gallon or 20 pound uh, gas tank for the stove. This wall and the front of the bed is my tribute to, a lot of people do a pallet wall. This is actually uh, just tongue and groove flooring that had plywood on the back of it instead of a padding. So I bought a bunch of it and then just took all my old stain, put different colors on it, and nailed it up. If you'd like to, I can lift the bed up. All you do is pull the mattress out a little bit, slide it down so it doesn't hit the TV, lift it up, and then you open it up. As I said, this is the uh, 16 gallons for the shower. Right now, I'm actually, a friend of mine is actually using my propane tank, so it's not in here, but it's just miscellaneous storage. There's the Mr. Buddy. You can see back here the batteries. I carry four AGM 100 amp hour batteries. 
there's a 300 or 3000 watt power inverter there the fuse box or panel for my electric is in here and then it's just basically other storage so this only this is 14 by 8 so it is a short tour uh, we can come outside I can show you a little bit about the outside if you'd like yeah this is a 2006 Chevrolet uh, box fan 3500 it's got a 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel engine in it it also has an Allison transmission it's got cruise control and it does have a towing package if I ever needed to tow anything as you come around the side, it's basically there. There again, I haven't really done anything to it. On this side is my water fill, which is I put a locking cap on it. The one mistake that I did make, this should have been up here somewhere because it's almost level with the top of the tank. So the tank in theory is a 30 gallon tank, but by the time you fill it up, start walking, going down the road, and you're probably down to about 20 to 25. This is an extendable ladder that I can get on the roof with. On the roof is 500 watt solar panels and a storage box that I use just for miscellaneous items that I don't use that often, but that, that I like to keep with me. It also has on either side of it, I don't have a full deck, but I do have a full, almost full length wise. And then it's about two feet on either side of, that I could get up there and watch the stars or do whatever. One of the main reasons I bought this truck when I bought it, I was looking for a school bus and my brother called and asked me if I'd ever considered doing a box truck and I had told him not really, but he had a friend that had this for sale. So I said, well, I'll go look at it. And when I saw it, it had the side door in it and it had a back roll up door on it. And like I say, they were both roll up doors, which I've since replaced, but it was like, this would be perfect for one person. So that's why I bought it, the lift gate obviously is just up and down and I do have a Predator 3500 watt generator that I carry I, that suitcase is full of extension cords and miscellaneous stuff I also carry an extra five gallons of diesel fuel and an extra five gallons of gasoline for the for my truck and my generator Pretty much as you come around here, the only thing on this side would be my normal electrical. This is just 35 or 30 amp circuit that I can run. Fortunately, I'm at a spot right now where I can plug in so I don't have to worry. Although some of it is running off solar right now and I can run everything in there on solar. It's just electric I actually makes it a lot easier so you don't have to worry about are your batteries charged. But other than that, that's pretty much the outside and that's pretty much the tour. It's been great having you along and if you see me on the road, stop by and say hello. All right, I just want to say thank you, Dale, for giving us a tour of the box truck and just letting us come visit your home. It's an awesome rig that I've been around and have seen for the last three years, so thank you, Dale. Also, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's supporting us on Patreon and supporting us on the short bus build. And honestly, I think it's about time we get back to it and get back to the short bus. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.